And today I'm here with my most anticipated reads for December 2017. I have a total of five books. I couldn't really find any that I was like super excited about, so I found five that are like, eh, I would read them. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is called The Good Samaritan. It is by John Mars, and it is supposed to be released December 1st, 2018. 17 and it follows a woman named Laura who works for a suicide hotline and she kind of uses this hotline as a way of making herself feel better about her own life and her failed marriage. A man named Ryan calls about his pregnant wife who recently committed suicide while holding hands with a stranger and he's trying to figure out who this stranger was to his wife and what the significance around her death is. He's very close to discovering what actually happened and that's when Laura decides that she is going to stop at nothing to make him realize that his life is kind of shitty. Laura believes that the best thing about being a good Samaritan is that she can get away with murder. And that's basically like the tagline of the book. I'm kind of excited about it. I think it sounds very interesting. I feel like it could probably have a lot of like trigger warnings with it, but... I'm not easily triggered, so I'm excited for the book. The next book that I have is called The Vanishing Season, and this is by Joanna Schaff. Housing. Probably saying that wrong. But this is supposed to be released December 5th, 2017. The book follows Elry Hathaway, who is a police officer in a very small town where nobody knows her past. She was actually the 17th victim of a serial killer. The serial killer was named Francis Miller, and Elry was actually the only victim to escape. When three people disappear from her hometown, she begins to feel that it is related to Francis Miller, and she decides that she's going to call the agent who actually saved her from the killer's closet so many years ago and it's basically that story. I'm intrigued. I want to know more about the serial killer. Because if you know me, I'm weirdly fascinated by serial killers, so any book that contains them it makes me excited. The next book I have is called You Can Run and it is by Steve Mosby and it is also supposed to come out December 5th, 2017. This book takes place after a car crashes into a building and a woman is discovered as being held hostage there. Police are very shocked when they find a lot of other women's remains inside the attached home and they come to realize that, that this is probably the house of the Red River Killer who has been kidnapping women for the past 20 years. They discover that this man is named John Blythe and he is now on the run and he's been leaving these messages for the police basically taunting them about his crimes for the past 20 years. One of the investigators takes this case very close to heart and he will stop at nothing to be the one who catches this killer. That's all the synopsis really says. I'm thinking that maybe it was like his wife got kidnapped or like his daughter or something like that. So I'm very excited to see what that is all about. And you know your girl loves herself some mystery thrillers so I'm excited. The next book I have is called The Truth Beneath the Lies and this is by Amanda Searcy and it is supposed to come out December 12th, 2017. The book follows two girls. One is named Kayla and all she wants to do is run away. The other one is named Betsy who is just trying to survive and when fate brings the two girls together only only one will survive and that's basically all the back of the book says so it sounds pretty intriguing I want to know why only one of them gets to live and then the final book that I have is called Love Life and the List by Casey West this book is supposed to come out December 26 2017 and it follows a 17 year old named Abby Turner whose summer is not going as well as she planned. She has a crush on her best friend named Cooper and he doesn't feel the same way. Her mother is dealing with anxiety and to make matters worse, she just got rejected from showing her art in a big art show because her art doesn't have any heart. She decides to make a list of things that she needs to complete by the end of the summer in order to make her art seem a little more interesting. It kind of reminds me of the book by Morgan Matson, Since You've Been Gone. It's kind of like a bucket list kind of thing. So I'm intrigued. I liked that book, so hopefully I like this one. And also, I usually like Casey West writing. All right, guys, so that was my most anticipated reads for December 2017. Let me know down below if you're excited for any of these ones or which ones you're excited for yourselves. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.